Hello. Um, I don't know why I'm laughing. I don't know what's funny, but hi. <laughs> welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. Um, I'm gonna fiddle with my brightness a little bit, but if you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Deborah, and I just decided to, I guess, start filming like a few days in my life type of vlog. I am actually heading home to visit my mom uh, today uh, in like probably about the next less than 30 minutes I'll be heading out but before that I actually have a brow appointment because look at how crazy my brows look y'all like it's been a month since I last got them waxed and the reason I waited that long is because the place I go to I go to like a particular technician she's so good she just knows the shape that i want and so i trust only her to do my brows and she was away on vacation uh since like october middle of october so i had to wait so i'm gonna get that done like pretty much uh, as soon as i leave i'm gonna go get my brows done then i'm gonna go stop for <laughs> then i'm gonna stop to get gas and then i have to get something from my mom and then i'm gonna set off so i'm hoping all in all that i can leave at like around 5 30 and hopefully get there at a decent time um it's already starting to get dark so i don't like driving in the dark but i feel like i don't have much of a choice it's winter and if you're doing any kind of driving not during the day like even in the evening you're just gonna you just at a certain point you're just gonna end up driving in the dark and that's okay um i don't have much of a choice but yeah i decided that i wanted to i suppose vlog the next few days of my life i don't have a lot of exciting things planned um I'm going to be working remotely for one of the days and then it's going to be the weekend and so i'll probably just spend some time with my friends yeah, I spent some time with my mom and just really try and relax. I have a vlog video going up tomorrow that I didn't film until the very last minute, pretty much. It was actually, I didn't, I kind of woke up and decided, okay, I'm going to film this. And so I'm going to have to work kind of overtime today, I guess, uh, late into the night probably to just kind of edit it and get it all ready to be uploaded. Um, for tomorrow so we'll see how that goes and i don't like uploading videos in my parents house because the internet is just slow but we'll see how that goes but yeah i just thought i'm so tired oh and i just thought i would come on here and introduce the vlog and say thank you so much for being here I am truly grateful to have you here and I hope you enjoy watching and I hope you stick around and subscribe so you can get to watch more videos. But yeah, that is all that I have for now. I will see y'all later. Clearly, I am not at my apartment. I made it to my parents' place. Um, it's a little bit after 9.30 now. I've been home for a while. I got in around 7.30. Man, the drive was crazy. So I didn't end up leaving the city, Calgary, until about... Probably a little bit after 5, I want to say maybe 5.30 or just a little bit before 5.30. So it was already quite dark and I haven't driven in like the darkness in such a long time. So that was a little bit scary, but we made it. <sighs> I'm feeling really tired right now. I just uh, finished editing the video that I that is going to go live tomorrow and so now I'm exporting it. I'm going to design the thumbnail um, and schedule it to YouTube for upload tonight. I'm just waiting for 
for it to export from Final Cut Pro um, before I do all of that. I'm feeling really, really tired and I'm quite ready for bed, but I want to get this done tonight before I go to sleep, so. But yeah, so I just thought I'd come on here and let y'all know that I made it home safely and yeah, my hair looks a little crazy. I'm back on the bangs, but I don't know. Anyway, but yeah, that's all I have to say for now. So it's later in the afternoon, I've gotten done work and I'm just about to um, head out to help my dad get his, the tires on his vehicle swapped um, to winter tires. Um, so I'm just going to go there and I think it should take like about an hour. So I will probably just hang out around the shop and then after that I'm planning on going to the gym. I don't know, lately I've really really been struggling with the gym for like some weird reason i just um i just haven't been motivated to go to the gym and i always find an excuse for the other and i've just lost my discipline when it comes to the gym so i'm really trying to get back on track so like for instance this week i've only gone to the gym once and i'm usually i try to do the gym three or four times a week so i'm just feeling really i've been a bit hard on myself today because I was supposed to go early in the morning and then I decided, okay, if I'm not going to do that, I'm going to go on my lunch break and I didn't do that. And now I'm finally going in the evening, which I guess later is better than never. But still, I'm just, I, I was kind of a little, a little bit harder on myself um, earlier today and I'm feeling a bit better. But yeah, I'm, I need to figure out what's going on in terms of my like motivation for the gym and i think that might just be the thing is that i'm relying on motivation whereas you just need discipline and you just need to make it into a habit and i used to be so good at that but i think i've just sort of fallen off the habit and i'm just creating excuses and i don't want to do that anymore i really really want to get back on track um, in terms of my physical health because i do like the way that i feel after i get a good workout in but anyway i'm talking too much now i'm gonna head out and get everything I need to do done, done and yeah so I forgot my gym shoes at home <laughs> I was like two minutes away from the gym and then I remembered that I did not bring my gym shoes with me Ugh. so at that point I was like yeah there's no way I'm gonna go back home um to pick up the shoes so I'm just gonna set this down here so yeah i just decided that you know what this is a sign that it's not meant to be i think i think subconsciously i just probably just didn't want to go but anyway it's all good um i'll probably go in the morning tomorrow but i did decide that um i was gonna stop by the mall and get some stuff from sephora so let me show y'all what i picked up it's just some skincare stuff and a uh, hair care stuff so i got some moisturizer it's the ordinaries natural moisturizing factors plus ha which i think stands for hyaluronic acid um so this is what it looks like i've used it before i don't remember i think it was just like okay um but like my favorite moisturizer at the moment is this Kiehl's one, but
but it's so expensive for like a little container and i just don't want to i don't feel like spending that kind of money right now so i just decided that i'll get this until i feel like spending that kind of money um and then from the inky list i picked up this um hyaluronic acid serum and it really helps to hydrate and plump the appearance of the skin i really really want to work on like my hydration so this is what it looks like um i'm gonna try using this tonight i wonder like i wonder like what the how i would layer it with like retinol and stuff because i do sometimes use retinol like just once or twice a week and then i also picked up this um oat cleansing balm from the inculus this is just like a makeup removing cleanser they didn't have the full size one so i just went with the smaller one and then maybe when i run out i get i'll get the full size one so that's what that looks like and then from the ordinary i picked up a natural moisturizing factors plus hyaluronic acid um serum for hydrogen serum for the scalp so this is really really good for so it's supposed to support the natural maintenance of scalp hydration to promote scalp health relieve discomfort and target dryness and this is something that i really really want to i'm excited to try because i have a really dry really dry scalp like it's pretty bad um I get like flakes and stuff it's kind of gross so and i've tried everything i think i need to talk to like after trying this it doesn't work i think i need to talk to my family doctor about getting a referral to a dermatologist or a scalp is there such a thing as a scalp dermatologist but anyway i'm gonna need like an actual doctor's referral to like a dermatologist to see what the heck's going on it probably doesn't help that i wear wigs all the time but even like when i have braids on it's still the same thing so anyway so this is what it looks like i'm gonna try this tonight i am washing my hair tomorrow but my hair is kind of itchy right now <laughs> my scalp's kind of itchy right now so i'm gonna try it tonight but that's what it looks like but yeah so that's everything that i picked up i was really needing to re-up on skincare i actually planned on going tomorrow but then i just decided that i was gonna go today but yeah that is everything for right now i think i'm gonna go take a shower and just kind of start winding down and try out my new skincare stuff okay so i hope this is a good angle but my face is all clean so i'm gonna start with i'm gonna start with the hyaluronic acid serum this has to always use as the first serum pea-sized amount to face and neck. It's a really small bottle, so I'm guessing a little goes a long way. Oh, that doesn't smell good. <laughs> That's good. And then I'm just going to go in with my... The Ordinary 100% Plant Direct Solane, and this is just another like moisturizing serum, and I use just a little bit as well. Okay, so the final step is going to be my moisturizer, and like I was saying, I use this Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream Moisturizer. It's a solid one, but like the 50 ml container is like $50. It's ridiculous, but it's so good. So I think I'm just gonna like invest in like the 100 ml, which is probably like 70 bucks, but you get more, you get twice the amount of product for like 20 something dollars more, which I think is worth it. Okay. My skin is feeling really moisturized right now <laughs> but yeah so i guess that is a little bit of my skincare routine i like to keep it really simple to be honest and not do too much because once i start to involve too many steps then i just don't want to do it and then my skincare
retain suppers. So, but yeah, that's good for now. But it is another day it is saturday and it's actually almost 2 p.m so i'm having a really late well not really i'm having kind of a later start to the day but i did i have really had a slow morning i had a very good good night why can't i say that i had a very good night's sleep last night and i've had a good night's rest has been few and, far, few and far between for me lately. I've really been struggling in terms of like sleep quality and sleep length. But um, yeah, so I really took my time today. But now I'm kind of ready. I just finished. It was wash day, so I washed my hair. Um, and now I'm just about to leave the house because I want to go to Canadian Tire to see if I can get some like salt for like the icy sidewalks and stuff it's really really icy and someone can slip and fall so um yeah but i just thought i'd pick up the camera i don't have too much planned today so after i do that i'm gonna come home chill for a little bit then i'm gonna go hang out with my friend later tonight uh, probably around like seven or something and i guess i can also show you all my outfit it's nothing too crazy but i've got this top that i got from dynamite and these jeans i like straight legged um kind of dark gray wash jeans i actually thrifted this and it's funny because when i was trying it on at the thrift store i wasn't sure if i wanted to take it because it just didn't fit right at the waist and it felt a little bit tight um in like the crotch area and like my thighs but i was like you know what i'm just gonna get it anyway and i did and now they fit really really well so i'm really glad about that but yeah i'm just gonna like put on a big coat and call it a day it's really really windy out today but say winter i guess but yeah this is my outfit and i've got socks on nothing crazy in my car and then give my car a nice wash because it's been the summer like since i've washed it so i'm gonna do that just give it a nice quick vacuum a wipe down and then run it through the car wash and then i think i'm gonna also get some gas and probably call it call it a day you say you're a vampire. 